Well, welcome back to Camus Classics. We did a thing over the weekend. We bought us a, one of the Harbor Freight 40 pound sandblast cabinets. We're gonna go ahead and show you how we put that together. Um, you might be asking why did we buy Harbor Freight? We don't do a whole lot of sandblasting. Um, it's something we just wanna have when we need it. And so we don't wanna put a whole lot of money into it. From what I've read on reviews and stuff, uh, we are going to do several uh, fixes. Uh, for example, the uh, hose fix coming out of the, to make it gravity feed, um, caulking it once we get it all put together, um, using a cyclone dust collection system. Uh, we're gonna do those things with it and hopefully it'll do what we need it to do. Um, it's the first step. There's a little bit of initial assembly before you start putting it all together. So our first step here is to put the light mounts on and just follow the instructions on those parts. Let's uh, screw a washer and a nut. Okay. So that's the end of that one. The next one, we got to put this one together with our gloves. Do come with gloves. You see most of them when you look in the stores, they're just damaged. Um, so we'll probably end up getting a new pair of those eventually, but for right now, that'll work. So, kind of try and re-round our hose clamps a little. So we're going to take a brief break. Um, while I was at Home Depot, or Harbor Freight, bought a bunch of the little magnetic trays. Um, you have to get these from the back, but they're only labeled on the front. So I'm going to go go to those trays, put the nuts and bolts in those trays so that I can find what I need. We'll be back in just a minute. So we got our one of our parts trays, we'll get our other parts tray, it's sitting here somewhere. Turn around our glove in the other one. Oh. 
Well, like I said, these are only labeled on the front, but the holes in the back. Okay, so it actually says to put the gloves on right now. I'm going to hold off on that. I think we can put them on after we get the cabinet all built. Then we don't have them flopping around and have to fight with them. So I think we're going to skip that part and put them on after the fact. Um, we're not in a real tight area that we're not going to be able to reach in that far to get to those. So I think we'll do that. And again, like I said, I think we want to caulk around this. So I think we'll caulk around that. Um, after we get it built, before we put the gloves in. Um, so we'll set that part aside. That one's ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set our gloves and the hose clamps aside. And our last piece we've got to build out is this little triangle one here and we've got to put on I'm not sure if that's bent or if that's the way it goes it almost looks like maybe that's the way it goes um, but there is a dust collector piece gasket with this one. It does not show a gasket. It shows it going on like this. Okay. 50, 59, and 54. Which was these original ones. from the outside. Do you want to put that plate on? We're not hooking up a dust collector. So he said we're not going to hook up a dust collector. We actually are. Um, it's re actually required. Otherwise, you won't be able to see. Um, what they, what this is actually built for is to hook a shop vac to it. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, off of Amazon, we can order the kit. I'll, I'll include the link to that kit in the description of the video. Um, but I had to get this put together. Uh, they make a couple different sizes, and so we needed to know which size we needed. And basically what it does is it saves your vacuum, um, creates a cyclone, the dust goes in, it uh, just mounts on a five gallon bucket. Uh, the cyclone causes the dust to fall into the bucket and your vacuum stays fairly clean. Um, because we also use our vacuums for other things such as cleaning out cars, you know, we don't want to, you know, be fighting dust. It's basically equivalent to sheetrock dust, which if you ever had sheetrock dust in your shop vac, um, you turn it on, it blows dust everywhere, and you never fix that. Okay, the next step is put the whole thing together. And it's the 58, 53s. Oh, this one. we have the right tools here um, because these are a little bit bigger now we're getting into we our bigger wrenches which we are a little better okay, so the first one it says 
front of the cabinet to the roof. Roof is going to be this piece here. And we're going to take a brief pause and we're going to build this little table here. Real simple. Yeah, just cards, can board, just something we can work off of. Pretty simple. Mm. The top, so make sure we get our sticker the right way. make mention of putting the foam we're not going to do that because we're going to silicone it with uh, caulking which will be a better seal anyway And that stuff's always good to have anyway, and I kind of used the last of it on my gas tank, so we'll keep it around and use it for another something else. That's got the top. I'll go ahead and flip it around. The back side of this instructions aren't real clear, but the camera guy's gonna hold that while I put this side in. There's a little bit of a bend on one side um, because I know that this uh, sits on an angle. That bend needs to go on the top. Just gonna, because it wants to fight me, I'm just going to go ahead and do one on each end, just to hold it in place. One of them jobs that's easier with two guys, uh, my second guy has to be the camera guy. Not left handed. Okay. So, door goes on this one.
go on the outside. That yeah, looks better. So basically from there, it's just go through, put all the screws in. Um, save myself some time. We're gonna go ahead and stop video for a minute. We'll pop together, we'll put all these bolts in. Um, come back when we're ready to put the door on. And we'll be back to you in a minute. Okay, so we got it put together, ready to put the door on. So I put the door on, it's just same thing, um, other than you have a hinge to deal with. That one in, put our bottom one in. Go ahead and start those ones. Did run into a little bit of an issue. Apparently Harbor Freight thinks that nuts and bolts are all interchangeable. Washers, we got a bunch of extra washers, not enough nuts. None with short one bolt. So head around to the hardware store and get some um, they come with these serrated bolts. They were kind of pricey at the hardware store, so we went with a lock washer and a regular knot. Does the same thing. Um, but where we had to pay for them extra, we went the cheaper route. Cheaper route. Be just as good. Um, tighten these up. And then I believe we're gonna set this aside. Um, Looks good. That's got our door. Like I said, I'm leaving the gloves out in there for now because we're going to silicone this. Um, we're going to stop at that point on this one. Um, which is basically assembled. Um, there's a you know, the light needs to go in, the switch box needs mounted, um, but we don't want to get the wiring and stuff in the way. Uh, we want to make it easier to silicone. So we're going to stop there on this piece. And yeah, so we'll set that one aside and dad tomorrow can get that all siliconed up. And then the bottom piece will uh, the hopper piece we'll put together with it at that point. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to build the hopper. And that is these four pieces. So the hack for this, um, you'll drill a, th you know, you can find it on YouTube. Drill a three-quarter inch hole. Uh, well, for a three-quarter inch, build a little plumbing. We can show you that when we get it done. Um, like I said, though, it's already on YouTube, so uh, go ahead and just look that up. And um, makes it so it's a gravity feed. Uh, you can still. You know, if you build it right, you can still open this. This is your basically your drain for your media. But you can still use that. But it makes it so um, 
the pickup doesn't work very well on these is from what I'm told, so we're going to not use that. Okay, so these. This. So I'm just going to go ahead and not. I'm just again, a, it's a pick tool. I think I'm going to go from this side a little. Basically, just making the holes through the foam. Okay, 50-50 shot, we messed up. Yeah, looking at it and I can see there's an issue already, so. This piece needs to go on that end, that piece needs to go on this end. As you can tell by the bends are backwards. Or it actually just needs to flip around. Instructions, glad we're making this video for you. So you can see what not to do. The instructions are basically pictures. Um, there are some words. They don't make a whole lot of sense. They don't tell you which way to put it in. So if you miss the picture, hey, these need to go like this. Yeah, now we got a box in the bottom, um, flat flange on the top. Now that's looking a whole lot better.
Set it on the end. I believe if I flip this open, set that on there. It's looking like it goes on the outside. And it says the screws go in this way. These ones that have the two screws kind of pulled together, the ones that only have one left a little bit to be desired. We'll just take this and persuade it over just a bit. See, we're a lot closer. We'll do the same on this side. together, um, put the shelf in, the legs on. Uh, so we're going to stop there. I'm going to close this up. So what we can do now, we can go ahead and run silicone right down these edges, seal it up good. Same with the top piece. We're still a couple days away from using it. We still got to go. We'll probably go to Home Depot and get the parts for uh, the gun. So we'll get this silicone up, and then we'll be ready to put it back. To, put the bottom half, top half together. Put the legs on. Put the tray table in. Um, we'll put the gloves on at that point uh, before we start putting it all together. While we can access it, but this way we can silicone around, and not have to mess with the gloves. So. Uh, we'll do that, um, get it siliconed, and we'll come back and show you finally putting it together.